here, the Wi-Fi signal wasn't very good and I had to get disconnected. However, we are here back again and we're gonna try this one more time. We just finished our Coral Views workshop at Magna 2022. And 2020, 2022, yes, okay, I said that correctly. <laughs> and then they dropped a big bomb on us by releasing the Kraken. But that's not the only thing that they did so I wanted to go a little bit more in depth and detail because you guys have been asking for it in the video. And I'm gonna flip this camera around to my good friend Carlos and show you guys what I see and relay, hopefully relay some of the questions that you guys might have and some answer some of the questions that you may run into down the road. Carlos, how are you, buddy? I'm doing well, how about yourself? Very good, thank you. First of all, congratulations on the big launch. Thank it was you. amazing. <laughs> You know, we know we have known about this Kraken for about a, over a year, and I, my lips were like so tingling because I wanted to say something about it for so long. And yeah, and, I, and that's the big thing about it. It's like, and I want to make this clear: the Kraken was actually developed when we developed the X4. I know. Isn't actually, that crazy? the X4 and the Kraken were developed at the same time. Yeah. But the the chip shortage and then yeah. COVID hit. Right. So I I actually have been running a Kraken, an actual built Kraken. Yep at home for over three years yep and to keep this quiet has been incredibly hard, hard and frustrating yeah. because people asking for this yeah. and i just couldn't say anything but it's over three years right no i seen the working model at your place before yes. i think when i went there last was it september or yes. august or something? yeah, yeah almost a year right so it's been amazing to see the finished product here right now with us you know but you know one thing that i can't help but to notice when i see this it reminds me of the original wave engine, the thought process of this, because of all the pl power, getting rid yes. of the power brick. Yes. You know, like, 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 I think you guys had that original idea from then and kind of like implemented on this. Well, right? so, so the idea came out from somebody that asked me, it's like, we went to the coral farm yeah. and they had a lot of lights with yeah. lots of power supplies. And right. the power supplies are all stacked up in there. And he oh, says, Carlos, yeah. is there a way that I can grab all these power supplies and move them into a single big super brick power supply yeah and he goes i'm willing to pay 400 bucks for that power supply if i can just move it yeah and we didn't have anything at that point but that was kind of like the the the, the impetus of, of of how the kraken became gotcha that's awesome so without further ado let's release the kraken yes let's, let's release the kraken tell me everything about this okay so the kraken is a power giver a power distributor okay that's what mainly it is and what you're doing is you're taking it's gonna take all your 24 volt power supplies, the little black ones that we know, right? Okay, the, the annoying ones, and then it's gonna turn them into one big super brick. Yeah, gotcha. So, so I, this, so this super brick right here, and you can see right there. I'm gonna show you. Meanwell, yeah. And we all know Meanwell is the number one power brick company oh, in the world. For sure, no doubt. Okay, it actually can do. 20 amps, right. which is equivalent of 480 watts total. Yeah. 480 watts total. Now, this one is an industrial grade power supply. Now, Meanwell has different power supplies. It has a medical grade power supply for hospitals, right. industrial for businesses, yeah. and then it has a consumer grade. So Does when you that see- that come with it? This comes with it. Okay, gotcha. So when you, when you get a black Meanwell power supply, that is yeah. a consumer grade power supply. Right. As you can see, look at this one. This looks like a like a metal yeah. halide balance. Right, right, right. And that is because there's a industrial power supply and then yeah. there is the medical power supply. When you encase it like that in aluminum, you know it's serious. Exactly. <laughs> well, it also gives you a sense of this, it's got some it's got some some meat to it. Right, for sure. It's heavy. Definitely. So yeah. anyway, what it does is you can actually connect any any device that has a 24 volt power supply right. to the Kraken. Now, not just Reef Octopus not just ice cap, anything. So I know the question is gonna come in, what about Jable? Okay. Okay, so you have a Jable pump, and when you open the box, you get a power supply, you get a controller, and you get the pump. Okay. Usually you connect the power supply to the wall, connect the other end of the power supply to the controller, and so right. forth. So what this Kraken will do is take that power supply, put it in a drawer. Yeah. We're gonna give you a cable yeah. That connects to this G, to this force port. Okay. It screws on so I can't pull it out. Right. Okay. And on the other end, it's gonna have a standard 5.5 by 2.1 milliliter barrel. The right. one that you come to expect on the other end of the power supply. Right. So then you grab that 
and you plug it into your Jabo controller, yeah. and then to the pump. So all you're doing is supplying power to it. You're not replacing the controller, you're not replacing the pump. You're not controlling the speed of the pump mm -hmm. or anything like that. All you're doing is powering it. Right. Because this device was not built to control the pumps that way. It's, all, it's, it's meant to be a DC option like the XP8. This is, this is the DC version of the XP8. Gotcha. Now, another question that I have is that if you wanted to upgrade this, because you let's say you wanted something more than 480 watt, is that doable? Is absolutely, that absolutely. You can go to Amazon, purchase a bigger power supply, yes. connect it to the Kraken, and you're all good to go. As long as it is 24 volts. So what kind of battery can you connect this to this? I see that you have a, a lead acid battery right okay. over here. Yes, so the battery is an accessory to the Kraken. The Kraken is a power distribution, but right. Everybody lately has been asking for battery backup. Everybody wants a way to do a battery backup. And right. unfortunately, up until today, most companies sold you a specific battery backup that yeah. worked for their devices, but you couldn't do anything. Yeah. And also, you had, you had no choice on the battery backup. The problem with, the, 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 not the problem, but the thing about the hobby is that, that a lot of companies want to do one size fits all. Right. Okay, so if you have a 2.5 amp power battery backup, yeah. and you have a 30 gallon tank, you yeah. will be just fine. Gotcha. But if you have a 300 gallon tank, a 2.45 amp hour battery is not going to do much. Right, right. So what we're doing, what the Kraken is allowing you to pick the battery for your system. So we don't I, sell the batteries. Gotcha. So I could go anywhere like, you know, like, a, you know, the Amazon, auto parts or yes, Amazon auto or port, Amazon and right. buy, as long as it's a 12 volt uh -huh. lead acid battery. Gotcha. So it doesn't, it doesn't it, matter the actual size, as long as the voltage is correct. Exactly. So gotcha. the capacity could be 20 amp hours, 30 amp hours, 55 amp hours, doesn't matter, but it has gotcha. to be 12 volts and it has to be lead acid. It cannot be lithium ion. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. Another, well, <laughs> see, totally unedited. You'll yeah. hear all everything. You'll like hear this. everything in here. <laughs> yeah. So another question is like, you said that you guys will be providing the cables for this. How many of them will come with the unit? You know, we're still trying to figure that out, but okay. you'll be able to purchase extra cables. Okay. Now, there'll be different size cables. There'll be different size. There'll be uh, cables with 2.5. Right. I'm sorry, with 5.5 by 2.1. Mm -hmm. And then there's also going to be cables with 5.5 by 2.3. Gotcha. Because some devices, that little, that center part is different and right. it won't work. Right. So we have different cables, which makes it a little bit tricky because we don't know what you're going to be using it. So I can't pre-sell you eight cables because they might not be good for you. Right. So what we may do is what we do with the wave engine, which is we sell you the device and the power supply, yeah. and then the adapters are sold separately. Gotcha. But they're going to be they're going to be very very inexpensive. We were doing a live video in the workshop just in case people uh, those of you guys that missed the uh, workshop video. Don yes. Don was uh, answering the question. He said that majority of these cables are also available on Amazon. Correct. Yeah. So what you're going to do is uh, somebody asked me what is it. Um, who is the one that, oh, Richard Ross. Richard yeah. Ross was here yesterday and he was asking me, he's like, well, how long are these cables? Can I make it longer? And I go, yeah, Richard, I, technically you can buy this cable right here mm -hmm. and then go to Amazon and right. buy a standard 24 volt power supply, uh, like power extender supply cable, cable extender, right. connect it on one end, take it all the way to the other end and it doesn't matter, you're done. Gotcha. Yeah, the length of the cable does not matter. Gotcha. Now, I know that this is not the only thing that you have to unveil here today. Correct. Let's go over there. Follow me. For me, I think this was actually more shocker than anything else. And I mean, that, man, that was a big thing. For me, what shocked me was this, the <laughs> IV unit. The IV. Now, this is, not, this, this is actually like a, you guys usually don't do module, but this is like a, kind of like a module well, like a system, right? Actually, inside a module because okay. it it doesn't have any moving parts. It doesn't have a brain. Okay. It is more like an accessory. Accessory. Or as it. we call it, it's, it's more like a facilitator. Okay. Okay. So what the IV stands for is isolated vessel. Okay. Okay. And anything, and in this hobby, when we're measuring salinity, when we're measuring pH, yeah. you know, especially pH and salinity, con um, 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 electrical interference yeah. you know, is, is a big thing. For sure. I mean, how many of you have had your uh, pH spike when your refugium light turns on. Yeah. Because the refugium light right. creates a magnetic field. Mm -hmm. Or how many of you... Go ahead. Sorry. How many of you have had your conductivity not work correctly yeah. because your return pump turned on? Right. Okay? So the way we do a hydros is when we bring a feature, we don't want to just bring a feature because somebody else has it. We want to bring a feature and make it better. Yeah. So a lot of people were asking, 
you know, you know, a lot of people are saying, it's like, hydro doesn't have salinity, hydro doesn't have salinity. We just didn't want to bring salinity and give you something that everybody else has. Right. Which also has, which also would come with a lot of problems that everybody else has. Mm -hmm. So we were trying to figure out a way to bring you salinity, but also isolated right. so that the, uh, from the, so there would be no noise or electricity affecting the readings. Right. And that's how the IV came about. So now you can create a schedule on your, on your extend your hydros right. app, you can create a schedule yeah. that was going to take water from your sump, okay. bring it into the IV. Right. There's a stir. Yeah. It's going to stir the water to get rid of the air bubbles. Right. And anything on in the, the uh, probe salinity itself. probe right. itself, and then it's going to shut off because again we want to minimize the electrical interference. Right. So shut off the the stir, and now take a reading. Yeah. Now the reading is from water that just came out of your tank 30 right. seconds ago. It's almost right. like doing a salinity uh, 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 a salad for a test. Gotcha. You know, yeah. and then you take that reading, and then you're done. Yeah. The uh, the the app will show you the the reading at that point. It'll show you the time of the reading, and and the reading itself, and then the schedule that you set, which you can set to your own liking. It could be every half an hour. It could be every two hours. It could be every one every day. Yeah. You know, at the end, that's up to you. I right. mean, salinity doesn't change that much. Yeah. And if it changed much, it would be because something else is wrong. Gotcha. I have a quick question about this. Sure. Um, I, I wasn't 100% sure with the IV, does it come with a salinity probe as well? No. Or is no, it just no. the alkalinity? No, that's just the vessel. Gotcha. It's gotcha. just the accessory. Think of it, think of it as a convenience device. You, yeah. don't, you, you, you don't have to have it, but it's going to make things a lot cleaner right. and a lot easier for you to do. Right. And one thing that really shocked me was the actual price point, 129. 129. Oh my so, goodness. Which is great because it also allows you to test alkalinity. Right. It makes, no, it facilitates uh -huh. for you to test alkalinity. Yeah. It doesn't do the alkalinity testing. It's just the vessel that Hydro uses to make that test. Right. Which is the great thing about it because for those of you that already have an X4 yeah. or have an X3 yeah. with an available pH port, Yep. You can just purchase the IV for 129 bucks. You have the software on your Hydro. hydros. Right. And if you have a compatible high precision doser, uh -huh. you can test out the yourself. That's awesome. Yeah. Obviously, if you have an X10, yeah. which is the next product that we're going to show, right. it's going to make it a lot easier. Right. Because the X10 has the pumps that can facilitate and have the pump that have high precision. Yeah. But if you have an FX FTP, and you set it to three milliliters a minute, right. you can actually get that precision that you need. So this one, okay, so just to make sure, it's $129, and it comes with a pH probe? No, and it doesn't. It's oh, just it doesn't. Oh, it's okay, $129. Okay. It only comes with the, the glass stir. vessel right. and the stir. That's gotcha. it. Gotcha. So you, you need to get a pH probe. Yes. And you need to get, okay, perfect. Yes. Okay, and gotcha. the dosing pump. It doesn't do that. Again, gotcha. you could technically... If you want to test salinity, yeah. you could technically grab a glass of water, right. put, a, put two dozen pump lines in there, put the salinity probe, uh -huh. and have the hydros pour water in there, drain it. Pour mm -hmm. water, drain it, and then yeah. test. You can do that. But again, yeah. this device makes it a lot easier. Mm -hmm. It's that convenience of looking clean right. and, and, and just looking better. Now, if you're a DIY person, I'm yeah. sure you're going to come up with something amazing. Right, right. You know, and, and I know there are people out there that are going to come up with vessels that are going to be far better looking. Man, but this looks pretty, pretty darn good. If yeah, I have to say yeah it does. It does. You know, it's 3D printed. It's not a mold. Uh -huh. You know, but it's 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 a, it's a prototype. Right. But that's right, something right. that we wanted to show. Right. I mean, I mean, I, I bet you when you guys do really, wait, when is it this coming out? By the way, it'll be 2023. 2023. 2023. So I know that by the time you guys release it, it'll be you know like oh, yeah. properly. It'll be molded oh, yeah. and outside. Yeah. It'll look a lot. It'll it'll look For more sure. finished. That's exciting. I really like that price point. I think a lot of people can get into alkalinity testing. Because, you know, that people that weren't into it before because of the price point, now exactly. they have a chance to jump in. Exactly. And FX STP, you know, it's going to, it's not, it, you have an FX STP available, mm -hmm. you pay 129 bucks, and all of a sudden, there you go. Yeah. You got yourself an alkalinity tester. Yeah. Oh, so we have a question right now about yes. how, how are you? Uh, let's see if I missed this. What, uh, what is needed for the IV to test KH? So basically, this, this was just, just what I asked right now. In order to test alkalinity, you would need to purchase the vessel, which is one twenty nine ninety nine. Then you would need to get a pH pro for this. So you need, if you purchase the IV and you want to test alkalinity, assuming that you have an X four, you know, or an X or an X three, uh -huh. you would need an additional pH port. Yeah. I mean, an, an additional pH probe, yeah. and you would also need a couple of 
high precision dosing pumps. High pre precision dosing. Pumps. Yeah, because gotcha. you're talking about when you're testing alkalinity, you're you're dropping acid yeah. into water and right. slowly bringing the pH down. Right. So you need you can't use a 40 milliliter per minute dosing pump because it's not going to give you the precision. Yeah, right. So you have to use a pump that is like one one milliliter per minute. Yeah, like a so stepper pump. Or like a like stepper that. pump right. that is one milliliter per minute, so the hydros can actually time and do your precise drops yeah. so that it can precisely know how much reagent it's adding to figure yes. out what the alkalinity is. Gotcha. Now, let's go into this X10 right here. X10. X10. Now, you know, I had a little bit of reservation. If this was any other controller, right, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be very optimistic. So okay. Thing. Because the thing is that, you know, because this unit is almost like near, nearly waterproof, Okay. You know, because this thing is constantly coming out with liquid and stuff like that. Yes. You know, with the electricity so much near. Right. It would be a concern to me, but because this is hydros and because it's water, nearly waterproof. Yes. That kind of took my mind off of it. Correct. And the way it's designed, though, if you look at it, uh -huh. the lines. If any of the lights, if any of the lines crack, which yeah. we know, yeah, it, it happens. Happen. Right. It happens. The water is going to go down. You're, right. you, we don't encourage you to, to mount it sideways because then the water is going to go down, obviously. Right. You know? So you got to mount it this way so the water goes down. It's, water is going to go down, crack, and it's going to follow the line and leak. It's not going to go into the thing. And also right. the seal is completely sealed and watertight, so it's not going to go inside. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. What about the inside here? Like it's completely sealed inside that way as well. No, this the is rubber? just a, this is a dampener, oh, sound okay, dampener. Gotcha, gotcha, you know gotcha. that. But the water, yeah, it's not going to seal. But again, if you lay this yeah. correctly, if you lay it like this on the wall, right. you'll see that the water is actually going down. It's not going to drip this way. It's right. going to drip down. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yes. Yes. You're very very welcome. I'm hope I'm happy to see that you're enjoying the video. Um, and if you have any more questions, please feel free to ask. So um, okay, so Carlos, going back. Uh, looks like these are look very familiar. Are they like from Camor? Camor. They, gotcha. they are Camor stepper motors. Gotcha. They can go down as low as 0.1 milliliters per minute. Yep. And it can go as high as 100 milliliters per minute. That's awesome. Yes. yes. So what is the price range for something like this? Okay. So before we talk about price range, sure. let's talk about what you're getting. <laughs> sure. Let's you do know that. exactly. Sure. So you're getting the entire unit. Yeah. Four stepper motors. Right. Four dosers. You're getting stuff. two drive ports, 12 volts. Okay. You're getting four universal sense ports. Sure. You're getting a pH ORP probe. Yeah. You're getting a salinity probe. Yeah. Which I, I'm going to go into details. And sure. on top of that, it's a power giver. Okay. So the salinity probe is a little bit of a, it's, it's, it's not as simple as it looks. Okay. So. What do you mean? Anything that you, equipment, when you use equipment, yeah. you tend to use equipment that was built for the environment. Right. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So salinity probes, not all salinity probes are created equal. Yes. Actually, salinity probes have different types. Mm -hmm. There are salinity probes to measure ROI water. Mm -hmm. There are salinity probes to measure fresh water, yep. salt water, yep. and then sewage. Yep. And they so use you different, different materials to make Exactly. And they also, there's differences. So a salinity probe has two plates uh -huh. that are separate, and then electricity goes right. from plate to plate. Uh -huh. So depending on the environment, right. if you have a lot of uh, dissolved organics, right. then that conductivity is going to be harder or sure. more, and right. it, less dissolved organics, l less conductivity. Right. So it's the distance between the two plates is actually called a K factor. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing is that we went to the manufacturer and said, hey, we need a probe that is made for salt water. Right. So they said, okay, you need a K10 factor probe. Okay. So. Some of our competitors use a K1 factor. K1 factor is meant for measuring fresh water. Okay. Now, some of the manufacturers will tell you is that, you know what, you're measuring fresh water. Here's the range. Okay. And you're measuring fresh water. Okay, so your reading falls right here. Mm -hmm. But salt water is still within the range, but it's all the way here. And yeah. we all know when you have a range, mm -hmm. if you're in the middle, you're safe. If you're in the end, you're kind of suspect. Right. Okay, so I would not use, if I'm measuring salt water, yeah. why would I use a freshwater conductivity probe? Right. It doesn't make any sense. Right. So we switched it to a K10 conductivity probe, which, which is meant to, to measure salt water. Nice. Okay, so you're getting that probe, mm -hmm. and the whole price of this whole thing is going to be $7.99. $7.99. $7.99. that's including this 
not just a mod. This is not a module. This is actually no. the whole ecosystem itself, like yes. I was mentioning earlier, and which could you know be its own, or you could merge with other units to create a collective. Exactly. And then it comes with the four motors as well, stepper motors as well, exactly. as a doser system. So you got a doser system controller and everything. The whole ecosystem. Seven ninety nine. Exactly. And you know what? The other thing that I want to point out on this one is sure. look at our look at our cylinder probe. If you go close up, yeah, it's not a DIN connector. It's a BNC connector. Oh, so you could. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so we're not again. Hydros is about openness. Right. We don't want to lock you up into a product that you have to purchase from us in order to use it. Right. Most labs out there, you know, in our in our in our hobby grade, mm -hmm. they come with a BNC. Right. Okay. It's the most common. It's one, the right. most common. Right. But you know, other controllers, they have different devices that they kind of lock you into their products yeah so we don't want that to happen so if you look at it our bnc pro our, yeah. our salinity pro uses bnc yeah. which is what you can purchase from uh from atlas scientific yeah. or other uh, other probe making companies oh yeah atlas are awesome i i, I love them for ph <laughs> oh atlas scientific is, is an amazing pro they are they yeah are. so you can actually go to atlas scientific purchase a k10 ph uh, uh connectivity pro oh, okay that comes with a bnc pro and you can right. use that gotcha does this one come with any probe i mean yes uh, any it'll come with a ph and the K10 conducti the conductivity pro, okay, and so I encourage people go to at, go to um, um, go to uh, Atlas Scientific and check out the price. The K10 conductivity pro is 180 bucks. Yeah, I, I could imagine so. so yeah, conductivity probes are always expensive. Yeah, <laughs> 799. So awesome. you're getting a lot for your money. You're not getting right. two dosing pumps. You're not getting three dosing pumps. You're right. not getting a brain yes. with a dosing pump on the side and you still have to rely on the cable. Perfect. Perfect. It's all fully integrated. Nice. So when is this unit coming out? It's going to be in 2023. 2023? Do you know like what quarter? Quick Q1, I'm Q2? I'm hoping it's early 2023, but yes. I'm just saying 2023 because I don't want to be, I don't want to tell you something and then it's not going to work. You gotcha. know, it's with the so, chip, with the chip shortage and everything, yeah. it, it just makes things a little challenging. Gotcha. So it's a 2023 so far. Yes. Gotcha. Gotcha. Let's say you're, you guys were asking, what was the question? Uh, let's see. Can I use two page probes on this? No, two, you cannot. No, only one. One probe. One. Yeah. This is the probe right there. For one for pH, one for yes. or, or P. Other one is salinity. If you wanted to use another, you, then you could, you could purchase another unit like this. And then like, a, let's say control four. Yes. And then you could just add another one on, up there. Yeah. The, uh, the pH probe, the pH port can handle ORP. So it's, right. it's, it's, it's two, ORP or pH. Yeah. But it cannot handle conductivity. It's a completely different type of circuitry. Right. So we, can't, we, couldn't, we cannot make a pro port that does all three. Gotcha. It's, it's, it's one or the other two. Uh -huh. Yes. Gotcha. Awesome. Queen City, I don't think there is a beta, beta testing for, for a coral view. But if there oh. is, I'm sure they'll let you guys know uh, on their like official Hydros group pages <laughs> and et cetera. And they'll make an announcement if there's anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. So let me see if I missed any other questions from you guys. Queen City, yeah, you missed a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the good thing is that I'll be saving this video so you can watch it right after I finish. Um, mm -hmm. As soon as it finishes uploading in HD, then you guys can watch it, rewatch it. And please, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Mm -hmm. And I'll be able to answer them for you. Bruno, you asked when is Kraken being released? When is Kraken being released? Again? 2023 as well. Gotcha. So it's right around, yes, it. right around the similar time. Yes, right around the similar time. Gotcha. Yes. But it should be a little bit easier for you now that you guys produce all your chips in house, right? That is correct. Gotcha. Correct. And again, it's it, it's this is this is a great um, um this is this all these products are are great. Yeah. But we have so much more in the pipeline. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Yes. Again, because we have so much more coming up that yeah. you got, that that we want to share with you, but we can't do that yet. Yeah. But I think people are going to be pleased. We are listening to you. We are listening to everybody. We want to make sure that we are we are the the, the controller company that is coming out with things that you're asking for. Gotcha. Because at the end of the day, you know, all of us, they're we're hobbyists too. Right. That's awesome. That's awesome. So. I think for me, I mean, this and all, Kraken obviously is the big deal. But I mean, for me, this one, this IV, it's for me, that was a huge, huge game changer. $129.99, right? Yes. $129.99. $129 all you got to buy is another pH probe. And if you have an extra room on your control, uh, you know, like a unit, then within, basically within like $200-ish, then you'll have a full alkalinity testing machine. Excellent. Again. 
you still need the high quality dosing pumps. Ah. And this is where the this is yeah. where the X10 kind of gives you Shines. that option right. because you don't have to spend seven hundred ninety nine dollars, yeah. then one hundred twenty nine bucks, and then you still have to buy the high quality dosing pumps. Right. You can use two of these pumps. Right. You don't have to use three. Actually, you use one pump for reagent, uh -huh. one pump for salinity. Right. If you want to, and then the waste. Yeah. You don't have to use a waste. Now here in this show we have waste right here, uh -huh. but I think it's a waste of a port of a of a stepper <laughs> pump a because technically, I wanted to. But you know, marketing shot me down. But I wanted to put a forty dollar hydros dosing pump in here okay. and just have the hydros turn it on right. to pull water out of there. Uh, so then I have two available dosing pumps that I can use for something else that is far more important. Right, right, right. That's awesome. That's awesome. So 2023 will be a big year for, for hydro users and for Coral View as well. Yeah, let me show you something in here real yeah, quick. Man, let's do it. Kinda, I'm show you right here. Sure. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, this is outputs here. Oh, okay. Okay, so take a look at this. Reagent doser. It's asking me where the reagent doser is. So I could make it an X10 reagent right. doser or I could make it something else. Right. We're not locking you. You're not, we're not making you ha need to buy an X10 for you to have this capability. If you have right. the dosing button that is high quality and high precision, you'll be able to do it. Drain doser right here, waste, yeah. fill doser. So I can technically say, okay, use the X10 pump one here, right. X10 pump two here. Right. Now use a $40 hydros pump yeah. for the waste. Yeah. And then that's it. Man, I really like that. Um, oh, we didn't answer this. We didn't discuss it before, but the reagent that's being used over here yes. is the same type of acid-based reagent that's used by, let's say, like basically every manufacturer that, that's using acid yes. to measure alkalinity, which is like, you know, Focustronic, you know, for Alcatronic, uh, GHL, they use a, all the same type of uh, reagent. You could easily purchase it from Coralview. I think it was like 100 bucks for four liters, right? No, liter no, bottle. it's like $40 for four liters nowadays. Oh, in the, for the Alcatronic one? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Oh, okay, yeah, $40 yeah. for four liters. $40 for four liters. I yeah. mean, yeah, it is, it, it, it's, 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 technically it uses the same concentration. Yeah. So yeah. we're not even changing the concentration. So, because we want to make simple. Right. You know, we want people to be able to buy the concentrate, the, the, the reagent and find it easily. Yeah. There's nothing more frustrating than having a machine and not being able to buy the reagents. That's awesome. That's awesome. So all the reagent is readily available, already been proven and tested in here and in our hobby for many years now. So feel free, feel confident. This is just, wow. I can't wait to see these units in tanks and actually running and see how you guys enjoy them in your systems. But Coralview being the company of, that is not just one trick horse, I know that there's more stuff that you guys have over here. Yeah, I want right? to show you something. Okay, let's go. Follow me. Follow me. So K alkalinity is the big rave right now. Right. So no, we are, we, you know, there's companies out there like, Al like Focustronic, right. I know uh, KHG. Right. And now Hydros and obviously Neptune does alkalinity testing. Right. But you know what? Another company that wants to get into yep. it is Kamor. Yep, I've seen this. Kamor, let me pull this one over right here so you guys can see. Let's do it. You know, take a look at how slick this machine looks. It looks like a laboratory machine. I know it? it does, doesn't yeah. it? So if I have, you know what, if I have my tank in the in my tank room, I had this, you, know, you have this white table, yeah. and you put this in there, it's like, it looks good. Right. You could put that in a cabinet right next to your tank and your wife would be like, that's okay. Yeah. And it's not, it doesn't look like a hosh posh that your wife is like, can you please take that out? It's a furniture grade. Yeah, it's actually, it's, 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 it's wife approved. Right, right, right. What I like about the cage care is how easy it is. Take a look at this. Okay, wow. How easy it is for you to access those heads. Right. And look. I can look, do this right here, yeah. turn this, pull it out, right. change the lines every right. you know two or three months, depending on how often you test alkalinity. Right. Depending on the usage. And just pop it in there. Yeah. Twist, and you're done. That's it. 
That's it. And then these type of things, you don't, I mean, you could just buy the Y wire yourself yeah, and just do yeah. it. Yeah, but this, uh, this one's so right here that lasts a long time because all they're doing is transferring water. There's nothing, right. there's, no, there's no head chewing on the line constantly. Right, now right. The, it's the inside here. The inside is the ones that you usually have to change. Right. Then you're done closing it and that's it. And then Are these just turn around. Are together by small magnets or something? Yeah, they're magnetic. Gotcha. I'll just pull it up right here because it's a lot easier to do this. Oh, okay. Right there. Gotcha. That's it. Now, one of the hidden hidden features about this using this yeah. ma this machine is that the PCB board yeah. of the machine, right. the brains, right. what you're paying money for. Right. Usually, a lot of companies tend to put it back here, right? Because it's where the power supply is, so they put it right here. Right. But what happens when water leaks? Right. Down inside, right. then the PCB board is inside. It's right here, yeah, and then, then water gets, gets. gets so gets damaged. Comore <laughs> actually put the brains up at the top uh, right here i can pull this out i'm not going to do that today, but i can pull this out yeah, and yeah, the yeah. pcb board is here at the top so no matter how much this things leak yeah they may leak but they're not going to destroy the brain of the machine that's awesome and then how and, much something like this would cost you know we're still trying to figure it out but it's not going to be expensive i can tell you it's going to be cheaper than the alcatronic really yes gotcha yes. when is than, this coming out to the market we are getting ready to uh, to place our bulk order right now. Oh, so it's going to be very soon. Gotcha, it's gonna gotcha. be, and what I love about this yeah. is that it is simple, and I mean the app yeah. is incredibly simple to schedule. Now, and do. it is simple. You know, just because you guys are Coralview, mm -hmm. and I'm going to ask, is will this be compatible with Hydro? Yes, we're working on that. Okay, we're working because this this machine by KHG is fully 100% cloud-based. So KHG? I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, Kamor. Kamor, not Kamor. Gotcha. Oh, no, I was like, wait. No, by Kamor, I'm thinking of it. Uh, by Kamor, right. is, is, it's cloud-based. Yeah. So uh, we're already working with them to be access, to have access to their API. So yeah. as soon as this machine tests, yeah. the, device, the results will be on Hydros. That's awesome. And you know what's funny is that I remember Kamor was first trying to get into the stateside, and then we met them at Global Show, mm -hmm. me and David, we were sitting down and they're like, hey, these are the medical company from China. I think I'm going to have a conversation with them. me, David, and Ricardo. Yeah. And then I remember them, they first trying to come in. And now they're, you know, you guys carry yes. them and bring them into the market. Man, if, I feel old, kind of. I know. <laughs> I know. Well, take a look. We haven't brought this in there, but I wanted to show it anyway yeah, because man, we're showing it. it. Take a look at this. Okay. This is a 1.1 milliliter yeah. AC pump. Doesn't right. pump. You plug it in. Yeah. It turns on. You unplug it. Turns off. It turns off. Right. Yes. And it's gonna be priced very, very compatible. Uh, very, very um, um, at the same time at the same cost of the leading 1.1 milliliter per minute pumps out there. Pumps out there. Gotcha. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> right. 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 Yeah. yeah. We wanted to provide options. You know. Look at this. Big roller, yeah. hefty. I mean, you know, yeah. I'm gonna give it to Richard. Here, yeah. Richard, take a look. No, no, I, could, I could feel it. It's definitely hefty. It's hefty. Right. It's right. gonna be 1.1 milliliter. Right. So technically, you could use this pump. Yeah. With your X4. Yeah. And use it as a high precision pump to yeah. test alkalinity. Gotcha. I have a couple of questions over here. Let's answer a few of them while we're here. Okay. Is the IV unit going to work with the all-in-one tanks? I see no problem, why not? I, I see no problem because yeah. you're pulling water out of the right. tank into this location. Right. So as long as you mount, you can mount the IV inside the sump right. next to the tank, you're not yeah. putting it inside the tank. Right. So the next question is, do you guys have a trading program where he could change the Apex for X10? <laughs> I wish we could. I wish we could. I think it might be legally, might be something in there. I don't want to. I don't. Yeah. I'm not. I'm no lawyer, so I don't know. But I wish we could. Right. Yeah. And the next question is: Will the products be posted on their website for more details? Absolutely. Absolutely. We're working on that. It's honestly, we've been in Macdam mode for the last three months. Right. And it's just it's been insane. Yeah. Um, so once we get back in here, the dust settles. Yeah. Then we'll start putting we'll put every all the information will be on the website. Yeah. And for you to ask and again, you can always go to the Hydros forum and ask there all yeah. the beta testers know about the product already. They've known for a long time about them. Yeah. Um, uh, and uh, or you can go to the support. You can email support at coralview.com. Yeah. And then we'll be happy to answer your questions. Perfect. Any questions. You know what? There's actually one more thing that I sure. want to see. 
I'm sorry, Carlos. I'll, I'll let you go in a little bit. No, yeah, I got time. <laughs> but let's go over this way. All right, what am I doing? So, I noticed Derek from Riff Octopus is here. Yes. He brought some couple of cool stuff, and he wanted me to talk to you, I, me to talk to you okay. about the new products that, that he brought, particularly with this and this, which okay. is, this is a CO2 scrubber as, as I mean, one could see. Yes. But what makes this one so special and different from the one tradition one in the market? Um, uh, it's Reef Octopus quality. Okay. I mean, Reef Octopus quality. Everybody knows Reef Octopus is the number one skimmer in the country. Okay. You know, and it's just the way it integrates into it. You're not trying to make something work or uh -huh. come up with ways of making it work. It's just, it feels seamless. Right. You have the CO2, which is sealed. Right, this is a recirculating one. This, this is, is a, recirculating. a recirculating one. And this one is actually special lid that fits into all the existing uh, Reef Octopus models. Yes. I believe it's here. Uh, these are the models that fit. So these lids are sold separately. Correct. Um, but uh, yeah. do you know how much these work, these cost? No, I don't. I'm, I'm the tech guy. I'm not the price guy. <laughs> I'm the tech guy. But that's... But look at this, okay. it goes to here, you pick it up, yeah. this thing is built like a tank. Yeah, for sure. And I like that everything is, you know, like recirculating, has a bleeding valve for everything. Yes, a bleeding valve, which is a big thing. You yeah. need to have a bleeding valve and all that. But also, another thing that Reef Octopus has coming out with yeah. is right here. They're coming out with a new controller. Is that right? Yes. Okay. A new uh, a wave controller for the OP4 and OP10. Oh, okay. Now, we also have the wave engine. Right, right, right. But those people that, may, you know what? There are those people that don't want something hard. They just want something that they can just push buttons and do yeah. it themselves. This is it. The OP controller, it has two pumps. Uh -huh. So now you can synchronize pumps. Uh. And another thing that people don't notice is look at the power supply. Yeah. Here's the old controller. Yeah. Look at the power. You actually put it in there. And what would happen sometimes is that the, you know, it's like, um, Humidity a little bit gets there, and then it the sparks. controller is expired. Yeah. When you when you bring the controller out and you put it in a sealed environment like this, yeah. you know it makes it a lot better. Right, right, right. Now this controller right here, look, controls A and B. So A is running, you know, running. Um, um, mode kind of, right? Yes, it's but you see the line in the middle. That means it's running in reverse and in forward. Oh. While the other one doesn't have a line in the middle, so that means it's only running in reverse. Right. The top means forward. The top is in reverse. Gotcha. Yeah. Now, here is the big thing. Okay. Come out of here. Oh, yeah. This is the big boy right here. The Varius 10. Take a look 10. at this. This is right. a Varius 10. Now, yeah. the Varius 10 can go up to 29.5 feet. Yep. And then they, this is actually the head pressure unit that he actually brought. Yes. Exactly. And it uses up to 200 watts and it's 36 volts. That's Here's awesome. the trick, though. Here's uh -huh. the great thing about it. It is a DC pump. Uh-huh. It's pressure rated. Okay. Okay. It's pressure rated. Right, right, right. Yeah. And the other pumps, various four, the two, the four, the six, and the eight, yeah. they work great, but they're not pressure rated. Now, people ask, what's pressure rated? Pressure rated is the ability to go from one floor to the other. Right. And be able to handle the pressure of the water coming back down on it. Right. All right. So pumps like two, four, six, and eight, you're not supposed to do that because they're not going to run. They'll run for, they'll run at first, yeah. but then the life goes down pretty quickly. Yeah. So then you need a pressure rated pump. So now this, the X10 is fully, fully pressure rated. That's awesome. Yes. That's awesome. And the best of it, that, yeah. I, I know the price on this one. Uh -huh. Okay. The best of it is $999. Gotcha. Gotcha. Man, and that's 4,000 gallons. 4,200 know, gallons per what hour. I, what I was really also impressed was this controller is so robust. Yeah. Heavy, hefty. Well, look at the connection right here. Yeah. The connection right here, and then this cool thing. It feels you like almost around. like a commercial. Yeah. Commercial oh, it's a commercial. Well, well, tell you a little secret. Reef Octopus has spent a long time trying to figure this out. Right. If I remember correctly, they told me is this pump is the 49, the 48th version of the pump. No. So they really? created, they've created 46 or 47 versions of it right. where they're constantly tweaking things, right. changing the coils, changing the distance between the coils, changing right. the angles and all that to get it to work. This has been, this is kind of like the holy grail of pumps to create a DC pump that is, that is uh, pressure rated gotcha. and keep it under $1,000. That's awesome. When is this coming out? Um, I have to double check with, yeah, again, tech guy, sorry. <laughs> I know the price, but I don't know what the thing. You know gotcha. what, check our website, we'll know. 
Gotcha. It's already listed on the website already? No, no I'm sorry. When it's right, when, we'll let you know on social media when it's available. Gotcha. Where, 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 where is social media? Coralview.com or Coralview.com. Coralview Coralview yeah, and you know what? I'll send you the information. I'll Perfect. send it to I'll send it to Richard. Sounds like a plan. I will keep you guys posted when these things are coming out. Carlos, yes. once again, congratulations on the new release. Thank you. I know that you guys have been working really, really hard on this for a very long time. Yes, I'm we have. Very happy to see it finally coming out in the market. It's it's I just I, I'm just a person in the sidelines and seeing these things develop and it's really I'm like it's really great feeling to see innovation come out like this. Oh, you know, wait until next time you come over for uh, Chicago and then you'll see all the things in my house. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> People were actually mentioning when they Carlos opened their your, your, your bag and it's like, oh look, it's Carlos' bag of goodies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Actually, there were there were a lot of bags of boogies and goodies right, right, in there. Right. Yeah. yeah. There were some things in there too. I bet. I bet. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much, buddy. I You're really welcome. appreciate you. And I hope you have a wonderful show. And thank we'll you. look at we'll catch up in another one. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Thanks thank for you. having me. Okay. Perfect. We just finished.